we've been taught to use peanut oil. Some We're going to take a mixing bowl and that's where the other, where the other one ended up. Seems to have been left in the bag by whoever made the, whoever made the bread last. Uh, just real funny today, huh? Tongs, and you know I'm gonna have the tongs. Okay. Take a cup. In the bowl. Take about half a cup outside to work. I did that already. Now everything's wet. I'm going to take some. I won't cut everything. So, ow! Damn, these don't have a rim on them. They're just, oh, that's not good. Alright, so, we're gonna go with a fourth cup of water. Pour straight in. And then you just, just going to twist it around. Let it spin into itself. Alright, looks like crumpled. Alright. Uh, I myself like to use a spatula. Make sure I get all my goods. Mm. 
One, when you use a spatula, it scrapes the edge. You get everything. You see this? It's so nice. It's all turning into dough. So once you mix this, you got about 15 minutes, something like that, before it starts to, uh, I forgot what it's called. But it changes its composition at that point. But this also helps in cleaning because then you're not scraping a bunch of dough into your sink. All right, so let's spread that around. I'm going to get everything out of there. Um, you start pushing it in on the inside, it's not going to matter. Push it on the inside or outside. Alright, so you're going to get everything. Clump it. You see it shoot out like that? Make sure you all uh, never talk my hand up sideways to block it. And you lift it up. Smash it into itself. And start to form a ball. Yeah. Now, if you work with pizzas before or something like that, you add yeast, you're going to go through the same thing. And as the bread starts to ball up, you're going to leave it because that's the yeast working. So, the object behind Passover is a miracles have happened to cause destruction of a great empire now with that being said it is the idea it is time to go there is not much time to do anything grab your belongings the idea of passover i believe is the time of day that bread was made and I believe this is why it has to do with the bitter herbs and no yeast because if you put yeast in the bread the bread has time to set if you do not have yeast in the bread it does not set and grow expand now when it expands, you get soft bread. When it's hard, people presume that you get hard bread. I'm going to show you all this. Let's go over here and make sure it's coming out to the All right, so, as you can see, the more you smash it, the more it becomes one. The less you smash it, the more it becomes all these rivets in it. Right, you fold it over to itself, and I'm just doing that in front of the camera. You know, I, you know, I'm usually more aggressive with it. You see it clump together. Open it up, put it on the inside. Now, what you're doing with the rolling pin is you're knocking out the air along with smashing it together. Now, all the powder on here is to keep it from sticking. at a pizza shop.
Now, my wife usually does the rolling. She usually beats the mess out of this bread. And I usually do the frying. So about right now, we're going to turn the fryer on. And it's about how thick it is in some places. So that we're, we're nowhere near where we want. We're going to work it more. So I like this size pan. You know, all um, your hand fits inside of it. What we're going to do is fill about halfway. We're going to turn that just above low so everything warms up until we're ready to throw something on there. Got myself a rolling pin. Mm, 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 mm. Got myself a cup of flour for a cup of water. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna hammer this bread out. Too high. So there's no yeast in here, so you don't need to keep flipping it into itself because there's only two things it needed to mix. It was the flour and the water. You just need to get it pretty flat. Uh, and I'm going to show you why. You know, each individual says, hey, I like my stuff this way, you know, whatever. You know, Burger King, have, have it your way, whatever. I don't have the greatest teeth. So, I'm not going to have big, big, thick bread or anything like that. Alright, so, you're going to have it pretty paper thin. Close as you're going to get it. It's a little thicker than paper. It's okay, so, now you have your choice of how you want to. 
cut it. You can cut it with a cup. Yes, sir. And you can have uniform pieces. You can cut it with a bowl. You can use bigger size bowls, smaller bowls, you know, choice is yours. It's your shit. You know? Um, me, myself, I just like pieces. Um, it took a while to discover. So it really don't matter. They don't have to be uniform. They don't have to be anything. Now, I did not add anything. These are just plain old water and flour. Okay. So all I'm going to do is shake off the extra. Put them in the bowl. I want to cut that over. Is he talking about baby Hitler? A baby Farrakhan Hitler. Looks like Farrakhan first. That's a piece of crap. I just break this shit up. Alright, so. To get the elevation that we need, we have to use a box. So we're gonna move the chair in the box over here to get you on a good prime spot. So we're going to turn the fire up now. We don't need the gloves. Sweaty palm. Sweaty palm. Sweaty palm from my uncle. Catch the grease. Catch the grease. Okay, so, and he takes the dive. No splash, I didn't see a splash. No splash. I didn't see a splash. I didn't, I thought it was, that was, it was a 10. I don't like that guy, so I'm only going to give him a 9. Don't tell him I said that. That's not fair to him. He looks so hard. Got a floater. Wait, wait. There it is. Flappy Jack. Flappy Jack. Flappy Jack in the morning. Flappy Jack. Flappy Jack. Flappy Jack for every morning. So, when they dry and cool, they're still flappy, all right? The granny can take her teeth out and still chew on these. Now, wait till you add seasoning, all right? See this one? He's like, yeah, I'm done, dude. Keep them in longer, they're just gonna get harder. They're just gonna get crisper. 
You can make them into potato chip-ish kind of things if you want to. You know, it's hard bread, it's pretzels, right? Ooh, he fumbled. Sure, no, I'm about to get oversaturated or anything like that. Woo! I'm just have to clean that up. I'm going to be out to lunch when that is happening. Under pressure, in the fryer, cooking up the bread. Got tongs, dude. Use them, fool. Look at how wet that one is. That one's like a noodle. Oh, this stuff is awesome. I remember, we said, you know, we got some couple of rounds here, right? A couple of specials. <coughs> you're going to take these, you're going to put them in your bowl. All right. Remember, fool, you got tongs. <coughs> Pardon me. See how yeah, these get real fast. If you got big ones, you want to make sure you get both sides cooking. If you leave them in too long, they'll turn hard. Alright, this one. Close to too long. See how this one wants to wants to go flaky. See where it bubbled? It went flaky. All the parts that didn't bubble are not flaky, right? So here's one, right? Here's how it sounds. No crunch. I don't want you to see these because Jacob's teeth will be on edge. All right. And these are designed for you. So what we're going to do now is oh, we'll just pretend that was heavy. And I like cumin. All right. I like the smell of cumin, all that good stuff. So I'll make sure my bowl's empty. Try to get them flashed. Throw some in there. No. Rest of these for everybody else. We like to use uh, this stuff. Nature's born. Yeah, nature's. Excuse me, nature's seasoning. Morton, you know. So usually I try to get them seasoned when it's in here. The problem is, is 
I've put on too much on some. I've put too little on some. So that would be the idea of what we're going to call uh, the bread, right? Because you don't have time for the bread to set. If you think of bitter herbs, most of these herbs, except for sugary shits, uh, are bitter. How does salt taste by itself? How does garlic powder taste by itself? All right. So, mm, that's some good salt. So, I'm going to try these cumin, cumin ones. I feel like we're on the cooking network. Okay, now that we made something clean, we're going to grab some, some abominable pork juice out of the refrigerator. Of course, that's what they do with everything. Watch the Food Network. They made some lamb. They're like, we're going to pour a shrimp drink on it. I'm like, just the fuck off. Yeah, we'll even try some chili. Need salt. That's the answer to everything. Need salt. More salt. So, say you're broke, right? You got no dough, Remy. You want something delicious? Okay, now look at that. Better than chips. Natural, you know what's in it. Right? Got ribs. No crunch. Trust me, tomorrow, it's the same way. It's just not as warm. They're, they're wonderful warm. Right? Like hot, fresh cookies. So, in case you're wondering about unleavened bread, you just saw it. My, my cutters. Now I have crying baby. Here, here, Farrakhan. Farrakhan ate off in there crying. Hold on. Bro, oh, my wife's coming. Fair kind of eight off, show yourself. Fair kind of eight off. Fair kind of eight off, man, dude. Can't say that all day and not show him. Dude, he look like fair kind of, don't he? Everybody got eight off hit with fucking hairstyle. <laughs> if I can get it to go higher, then he'll look like fair kind of, period. But. Alright, sorry for showing off the baby. Hit a Did he wake up or he just brought him over? Yeah, he woke up. Started crying and everything. Oh, okay. You want to try one of these? Yeah, we have one. Take one now, trust me. Thank you. No problem. What do you think? I seasoned it up afterwards. Oh yeah? Yeah. You like that better? Yeah, it's good. I think it's more flavorful afterwards. I mean, I tried it before cooked in and it just tastes like it was burned in. Except for that one time I put too much in and it tastes like not that great. showing you is if you don't put a bunch of water down this will clean up very easy with just a dry paper towel right you're gonna get a couple of spots where it might have stuck just 
scrape into the bowl you use. Now, as long as nothing's dirty, you know, you can start another batch or you can just throw it away. Now, here's something that's stuck. So, you know, you can fingernail it up or whatever. Use the tools you just had, scrape it up. But, you know, it's an easy cleanup. So, uh, what do they say in French? Bon appetit or some shit? Yeah, Whatever. Bon yeah, alright. So, in Hebrew, just enjoy your damn self.